There's a lot of money in PNC too. People don't realize it though. It's long, long haul play. You generate a ton of inbound leads from social media, from Facebook, mm -hmm. organically. Yeah. Like referrals friggin' galore. Mm -hmm. You are the king. Okay. You. You, I appreciate that. You are the king. Thank okay? you. Okay. Um, talk about that. Get your freaking pad. Yeah. Yeah. Just. Yeah, I'm gonna give y'all. I'm gonna give y'all just straight tips and tricks. So how many inbound social leads do you think you get a month? Um, I know it's I'd over. Go, I'd have to go check my CRM. I know it's I'm, over a certain number for sure. I just don't know what it is I'm exactly. I'm with but. with my commercial with my with all my trucking and my just referrals from people. Obviously, me posting and engaging yeah. and gaining leads. I'd like probably 120 a month. I quote, I quote probably close to $2 million in trucking insurance every month. Yeah. Close to $2 million trucking a month, Just you're trucking. quoting. Yeah. Now, granted, that's extremely high for anybody who knows trucking. Which Gosh! Don't start in trucking. Get your feet wet with the personal lines, and then when you're ready for trucking, you can now you Now you. you guys see, I was like, this is the cat. PNC legend in the house, Joe Camford. Woo -woo. What's up, bro? How you doing, man? Good, man. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Redwood Agency Group. Yes, sir. Absolutely crushing the PNC game. Okay. How'd you get so good at selling PNC? Well, how'd I get so good at selling PNC? Um, honestly, I was actually just telling somebody this yesterday. I started in customer service. Okay. So when you can take increased calls and claims when people are more mad at you than they ever will be. That's right. And you start there and then you shift to sales. Yeah. Uh, that I literally attribute so much to customer service for that. Um, wow. It's pretty crazy. Like where I became kind of a master at selling over the phone because yeah. I started in service and I really understood both parts of it. Um, yeah. And that really helped my sales process. Um, outside of that, man, when, when we first were getting going, it was pound the phones. Yes. Just pound the phones, refine your talk path. Um, really, when I first started, I had, it was right on my desktop. I didn't even have a headset either. I would just sit there and just, <laughs> and just pound the phones and dial. Um, and I just had my script. And wow. I would just, I knew what worked. And I just stuck to it until then I could kind of make it my own. Yeah. Um, but again, I think really understanding the back end of what happens when I actually sell the policy and what needs to be done on the back end is really kind of what helps. Yes, so you understood every level. Mm -hmm. You also were developing a skill and, and really doing some stuff back then you really don't want to do, you know, naturally. Yeah. Like and nobody really wants to no. cold call. Yeah, not at all. But you got good at it. Yeah. And you were telling me some stories last night we were eating at Lambert's in Ozark and you've- It's um, amazing. Dude, you, yeah, that was good, <laughs> man. that was cool. Uh, father, son, father, son, that was nice. Yeah. You were, um, dude, you, you, you've gotten to where like over the years, you've like been in, put in situations, PNC wise, where you have freaking crushed it or you were leading an office and a ton of people. And, mm -hmm. and like, I think that's turned you, like if people see you, cause how old are you now? 26. Jeez Louise. Yep. I thought you were like 58, okay? Yeah. No, I thought you were at least closer to 30, okay? Uh, yeah. You've got, yeah, you got the facial hair rocking. <laughs> Joe Campert, man, 26. I mean, the way we were talking about your career last night, it felt like you were 112, you know? Like, what you've accomplished. Sometimes feels like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the stuff you've done is amazing, Thank man. You. Um, you. There's a lot of money in PNC, too. People don't realize it, though. It's long, long haul play. Yeah. You know, for me, I think, well, really, I guess it goes back to you just don't know what you don't know. That's I didn't true. ever even know anything about the life insurance space, which obviously I do now, or Medicare. Yeah. I, I called Medicare Medicaid for the longest time. Sorry, so guys. Nate, I still do sometimes. Nate wasn't the only one. Yeah, though. no. I'm like, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> um, or ACA. Like, what ACA? Like, what are we talking about? Um, <laughs> so I had just come in because dad was in PNC for yep. forever. Uh, granted, he was more on that corporate side. Um, and I've always been sales. Um, I've mm -hmm. had a, I had a paper out when I was in second grade. I was hustling, mowing as many yards as I could on the street. Um, as I told you, I was like working a farmer's market. Yeah. Free samples, pulled pork. How often you get free these days, right? So I always wow. had this sales mentality of me. Yep. Um, and hey, Pops PNC, I've been around it. Um, so I ended up just going and, and doing PNC. And it really, you know, I think both models, they, they complement each other very well. Yeah. Um, so that's obviously why we're starting to get into that life space, that that's health right. space as well. Um, but yeah, PNC was... I just didn't know any better, um, and I got in, and I needed, honestly, I just needed a paycheck. Um, yep. I needed to make some money, um, and I've That's been right. there. Anybody who's, like, first getting going, especially in PNC, like, living off of $20 in a week. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so, okay, so let's pivot to that. Let's talk yeah, about that. Okay, yeah. so, so 
uh, let's let's talk about like new to PNC, right? Yep. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna take the PNC test, yep. the exam. Um, did you pass the first time? No, I did not. Okay, I'm a horrible test taker. Did, did you? Are you guys horrible test takers too? You guys yep. watching? Okay. Uh, did Did you pass the second time? I did not. Did third. you pass the third time? Third time. We both passed the third time. Now I've never taken the PNC, just life and health. Yep. You've taken the PNC. Yep. Uh, we both failed twice. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's okay if you fail the first time or the second yep. time. Okay. Quick, I, quick tip. Yeah. Go to the class. Okay. The class is the number one way to get licensed fast. They give you all the Ooh. answers to the test, and then you test like the following weekend or whatever it is. And so you can pay to go to a class. You can pay to go to class. It's like now, granted, this is where a lot of people get turned off. Yeah. It's like three hundred dollars. But invest in your ninety nine point five percent pass rate on the first try. Everybody I've sent through the class has never failed. Wow! After they always pass on the first well, try. Well, I wish you had told me that ten years ago, right? eleven years ago. And, and if you fail, you get your money back. That's how that's how guaranteed it is. So go to the take class. the class. Take the class. Yep. Get in the room. Yes. Okay. <laughs> right. What's some other tips on passing the the state ex insurance exam? Um, some other tips. Uh, man, really, I mean that test. Or the, the classes, that, that's it's the huge. number one. Okay. You go and then they, like for me, I did self-study. Don't do self-study. I um, did too. It was horrible. So much harder. Um, they give you such an overload of information and only ask you half of it. Yep. And half the time, actually what I found is That's also, a big problem, by the way. If you don't know it, mark it and move on. I always struggled with that because I didn't want to move on to the next question mm. without answering the one before. But then really in turn, I found that they actually ask you the same question multiple times, just word it differently, and they try to kind of trick you up on that. So if I didn't know it right out the gate, mark it, come back to it. That's smart. I would read a question that would be worded in a way that I understood, and I'm like, ooh, that's yeah, that's yeah. like that one. So then I could go Joe's back. Joe's helping you cheat the test right yeah, now, kinda. okay? Yeah. Hack the system. Hack it. Break mark, the mark code. Mark it, move on, come back. That's good. Mark it, move on, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you take it, uh, because I, I, I do notice that a lot. It's a big problem. Like a whole overload of information. I don't know what to do. I got a lot of de There's a lot of details involved. Yeah. And, and some a lot of times they give you too much information. So it sounds like the class gives you exactly what you need to know. Literally line by line. Which is awesome. Okay? Yep. We're, not, we're not pitching or selling the class. We don't even have a discount code for a class. Just no. go take the Maybe class. I should. Maybe okay? I should. I don't know. You probably should, by the way. <laughs> That's pretty good. I should. Dylan, just throw one in there. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, my idea. <laughs> so as, as far as, so, so, so then they go and take the test. Okay. Let's mm -hmm. talk about the day of. Okay, I didn't know we were gonna get into this, but this is, this is good though, isn't it? Because um, we have a lot, a lot of new people that are like thinking about getting the business, and they're, yeah. they, they're like, "Dude, I want to be Joe Camper when I'm 26." Some of them are like 96 right now instead, but not too um, late. Not too late. That's never too late. Um, the day of the test, there's like some things to get in the right headspace, or there's any things that you did um, other than just going and taking the test. <laughs> so this is really weird. I don't know if it works, but a substitute teacher of mine back in like fifth grade told me it works. Uh, Mr. Wilson, okay. who was actually a millionaire, which I found out after the fact, he had won the lottery and had no idea. What? Didn't show it at all. Was still a substitute. Didn't talk teacher. about it. Nothing at all. Wow. And he said, It'd "Be hard for I, me not to tell people if I won the lottery, right?" And he, everybody and, would know and, if and Joe you, Camper won the lottery. Oh, yeah, you definitely yeah. would. I'd have probably like a Redwood. I don't know. I'm a big Nissan GTR. We'll get there, but oh, have a big man. old Redwood logo on that thing. You need one of those. Yeah, be pretty cool. When are you gonna get one? Uh, that's my, let's, I let's, think that's, let's I th proclaim it. I was looking my, at my old, that's my, old goal book today. I'm thinking of my blue card. Uh, that's my 10 year. Oh, so you, you don't have that before 10 years. Yeah, for sure. I don't know if I really like, Want I feel like that's when I just it. have the money where it's like, yeah. you know, and I'll just get just a GTI. Extra. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, so Mr. <laughs> Mr. Wilson said the night before a test, sleep with an apple in your room and you'll do better. And I was just like, I'm not sure, but I have to pass oh. this. Otherwise I'm not going to keep my job. So I was like, I'm doing anything at this point. Like, so, and you still failed. No, I, this was this was my when I you actually finally passed. used the apple and I you used passed. the apple. I, I was like, I don't know what to do. Did you take a bite? It just no, sat there just, on the you nightstand. Just put it next to your bed on a nightstand. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. There's something. I mean, it's somebody the Google weirdest it, look it up. exam advice ever. And I, I just did that, and then man, I just, I mean, I'm talking three <laughs> days in a row, just line by line, really more so. Like I'm a bad test taker, so I just memorized everything, and I went yep. and read it now, just like we do with our goals. Yeah, write it yeah. down, write it down, write it down, That's write right. it down. Just really get it up here. Huh, so you guys I, are hearing more about the goals yeah. today, huh? Mm -hmm. And so I just wrote it down, had an apple in my room, went. Did confidence. you take the apple with you? No, left it. Okay. Left it. Just supposed to sleep with it next okay. to you. <laughs> in the, in the bed like, beside you. Yeah, like I'm just like, okay, cool, man. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it. Mr. Wilson said to do it. It worked. He won the lottery, so must work, right? <laughs> um, and yeah, and then went and took it. Just went in with real like confidence. Yeah. And just knowing that do not second guess myself because I will 
I will do that and I'll fail the test. That's right. Just mark it, move on, come I back like to that. it. I like that. Um, and then the apple. Don't forget the apple. Do you listen to music on the way when you're going to take it? Yeah, I listen to, uh, oh, what was that? So my, so I know what I started with. Uh, it was Money for Nothing with Dire Straits. Um, I just love the <laughs> intro to that song. We're, get, like, we're getting <laughs> deep in this exam yeah. prep here. Yeah, no, it, it really was. That was always my first song because it got me going. And then I, uh, J. Cole. J. Cole's my favorite rapper. So, okay. Yeah. A little J. Cole. Yeah. I like it, man. Uh, good. And okay. Fast. So, so you showed up, you passed. Yep. Uh, did they tell you? Did they tell you what you get, or just pass? Yeah. So they they tell you whether you get your test results right after you leave the room. And I was the first one done. Does it say a percentage? No. It just tells you if you pass. Yeah, that's what I thought. In yep. Missouri, it's just pass. And I'm like, yep. I kind of want to know. Was but, it by but, one or two? But they don't or... want you to use it when you go start selling and be like, hey, um, I got a 97 on the test. What did that agent get? Yeah, right. They don't <laughs> want you to start like competing with you know. Well, what's what's funny about the test is, and my boss at the time had told me this. You don't use any of that lingo yeah. or that link. I mean, you will like with homeowners forms or like you know po your policy sure. forms. You may know not that within your policy though. jackets, but yeah, it's like you talk about homeowners insurance or condo insurance or That's not right. an HO four, HO six, or an HO five or whatever, right? And it's like nobody uses that, but once you pass it, like then you're done. And it's like just yeah. don't freaking miss your CE, guys. That's <laughs> like, right. That's do right. your CE so you don't have to retest because yeah, it. I would not want to do that again. Um, any other tips for like? Once you get the exam, just the man that class. Okay. It's a guarantee, right? I mean, we That's talk right. about it all the time. Invest. Yep. Invest, and there's no better time than to invest in the start, yes. so that you're not wasting time trying to get licensed when you know that it's a guarantee, and if not, you get your money back. Dude, that's so good. Yep. Okay. And then once you pass, okay, talk about like what is what is what does insurance mean to you? Like, is insurance really a good career path? Like, you, you're licensed now. Mm -hmm. Like, let's talk about like, is it a really like a career? Mm -hmm. Can you make some money at this thing? You yes. know what I mean? Yes, you can. Um, you know, my my first interview, I went in and she was like, why do you want to be an insurance? I was 19. So I got in when I was 19. I'm coming up yeah. on my seven year anniversary next month. Um, and she's like, why? And really it, it started with one, I, I'd love to make money. I do love to make money. Um, Who does? It doesn't hurt. It, it really doesn't hurt. It doesn't at all. And if I can make money by helping people, which I yep. also love to do, that's yes. my tr my true passion is coaching, and that's why I try to get around you yeah, as much yeah. as possible because I love yeah, you too. to help people as much as possible. Yep. So if I can do that and make money, and then if COVID wasn't a true testament to this, like I'm recession proof. That's right, baby. Job job security, man. Like I'm not going anywhere. I don't. Bot does not replace Joe Camper. Like no. and all these people are like, oh, these insure tech up with and all. Joe I was K. like, no, they they can't. And so I and I truly believe that. And I think people yeah. have their differing opinions, but nothing will ever trump me on the phone. That's right. Um, or through a text message or whatever it is. Dude, I heard you. You were helping us out and get some people in the mentorship program the, yes, yep. uh, yesterday. Dude, Joe's good on the phone, man. Thank like you. on video and on the phone. I'm like, this dude's got the secret mm -hmm. sauce. A lot yep. of people like they say they're good. But, dude, you proved it yesterday in front of our whole team, which it says a lot about you, by the way. That's and good. you got to have that to have a great career in insurance. Mm -hmm. you got to have some skills. Yep. What kind of skills do you think you need? Um, Man, first one is show up. And that's not, I wouldn't Step even, one it's, it's, not, it's not even necessarily a skill, but for some people it can be. It's so good. Dude, just get there. Yeah. Just get there because the rest of it can be refined and, and tracked and managed over time and improved. Yep. Um, just get there. That's right. And that's, again, I know some of that comes very easily for us. Like for me, like if you're not early, you're late. That's right. Right. Well, so I'm always, yeah, yeah, I'm always going to be there. Yeah. Right. And if you don't, you're getting on the line and you're, you're running 15 line touch. That comes basketball mentality. It was We're like, going to start making the sales yeah. team do that. Yeah, line up. Right? <laughs> if you ain't 15 minutes early, you're late. Get on the line. Yeah. 22s. Um, but no, so really just getting there. Just getting That's there. Um, and then I would say for the skills you need to train every day. So finding a program with that. For me, I think I did it the hard way and developed it myself. Mm. Um, which looking back, right, even though I'm only 26, yep. if I had gotten, if I had known what I do now, I would have come and like sought a, out Cody Askins or somebody that had a program or something. Yeah to improve my skills at a faster rate versus trial and error, that's trial right. and error, which a lot of us, I think we learn by trial and error and that's great. Yes. I think there is power and you can develop testimony from that. Yeah. But a lot of our skills, like we're not, we're not born with everything we need to really encompass, you know, how much money we can actually make in this yep, industry. Right. We need to find people that are better than us. Um, and again, I would almost call that a skill cause you got to swallow your freaking pride. Yeah. I suck. So I got to go find somebody that doesn't and then learn You don't from suck anymore, bro. Yeah, no. I, I, I don't no. know if you really ever did, but you're really good now. Yeah. 
You're like, dude, it, 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 your ability to go right mm -hmm. premium yeah. is freaking insane. And we're okay. going to touch on that in a few minutes, by the okay. way. Um, however, I want to go back to like the career path, okay? okay? Like how important is it for them to have a prospecting system to run on? It's everything. To have something to do. Like, do you notice that as with agents and, and trying to make this a good career? Like, the n number one reason why insurance agents fail is they don't know what to do. Yeah. To get in front of people. Yeah. Right? And we're going to talk about some of the crazy creative ways that you get in front of people in a little bit because you mm -hmm. do phenomenal at that. But talk about how important having a track to run on is. It's, gosh, it's everything. Um, and I think with that comes that technology piece. Yeah. You need to be leveraging something that's helping you do that. That's and good. I'm sorry if you're still working on an Excel sheet. Or you've got uh, just paper files. Like not after this. Yeah, you're, the, the boat has sailed, my friend. Like, you need yeah. to catch up. Um, That's right. For me, the CRM, like when we got a CRM, we used Ricochet 360. Boom. That thing freaking changed everything um, yeah. to where, like, those Excel sheets, like, you just can't do it. Um, so having that literally everything tracked. And there's tons of systems out there, right? Just because oh, we chose this. There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not, I think a lot of people talk about, oh, mine's the best, mine's this, this, and it's yeah. like not, it's not one size fits all. Yeah, that's right. Go try them out, find the ones that work for you, and then stick with that and work it. Um, you know, but I think with that, you have to keep yourself accountable to actually be checking your numbers yeah. on a daily basis. Like I will go through and I will look at talk time. I will look at how many calls were made, how many yeah. appointments on the life, how many appointments were set, how many appointments were kept. Are there notes? Is there anything that I can use that if I didn't sell them now, that now I can have that rapport building when I'm trying to follow up with them, mm. you know, closer to their next renewal or whatever it is. Mm. Um, so Dude's dropping some gold here. This is good. There, it, it's important to do. And I think even, and I'm not saying I'm perfect because I've just now really gotten back to this because I was, I was letting it go. I would check it once a week or maybe every it's other day. It's easy to do too, isn't it? And then it's like, man, but then like this person wasn't doing anything yesterday. And it's like, that's because I didn't check it. And I could have addressed yeah, yeah. it today, even though I let it go for another two days, right? Um, so very, very important on having that tech, not something to help you manage who you get in front of. Totally. Right? The activity. Um, and then leads. Yeah. However you want to buy leads, obviously, you know, I don't, I don't really pay for leads, no, but no. that's not, I did come from that. That's right. I had to unplug my phone at night. We were spending so much on leads. Wow. Um, I wouldn't suggest, I would suggest Crazy. both. I would suggest using your warm market, get in front of the people and... I know like um, things I've been hearing more about when you're first starting in the life or health space, like That's right. presentations with the people you know. Hey, can, like I'm trying to get better. Totally. Are you guys cool with me giving you my presentation? You have to start out with your warm market. Most yep. people do not want to, I'm telling mm -hmm. you. Just it's like you're it. scared to ask your friend. Dude, and it's you like, you ask, ask your friend, your... and if your friend says no, then are they really your friend? Yeah, that's right. That's a, such a good point too. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot, a lot, early in a career, a lot of new agents struggle with that. Yeah, big time, man. What, when, when you think about... Um, the agents that succeed, because how, how long have you been in the business now? Uh, almost seven years. Almost seven years. You're outside of three years, like by two and a half times. Yeah. And you are clearly going to be in insurance in some form for the rest of your life. Yes, sir. Obviously. What do you notice about those that succeed and make this a great career? What do you notice about those people? Like, what type of people are they? What do they, what, what, what do they look for? Like, what type of individuals are they? What's their personality um, traits, characteristics? Like, what are some of those top things they need and that they need that they're watching right now? I would say, from at least from what I've seen, from at least recently and also from my past, like the most successful people, and there's, I've seen successful people that yeah. are truly successful, okay. I would say. And I think a lot of it has to do with balance. You can operate at a high level like Cody does, but you need to have balance. You need to operate, he operates at a high level in every single category, right? So that's okay, because that's all balanced. It's not like I'm going gung-ho over here, but then I'm yep. totally just wiping all of this out over here. Yep. So I think balance is extremely important. Um, you're never gonna be perfect. It will never be an even line. No. It won't be. No. Um, so balance is definitely important. I would say probably the number one thing I've actually seen though, like with people who have truly found success is they start within a system mm. or a process. Yes. Like, learn the freaking ropes. Yes. And I, I really, again, it comes back to that kind of swallowing the pride. Yeah. Um, even like when I'm hiring, I will actually look for younger people. Yeah. Um, we are the new wave, the new generation that's coming in. We need younger people in the insurance industry right. because we don't Average have a lot of us. It may not be now. I need to check. Before it's it like was 55. 59. 59? Jeez. 
Yeah, yeah. But there's a lot. But of us. You're, you're bringing a lot, a lot, of, a lot of new people in, so maybe it has went down to fifty. And I, but I, I go green because yeah. I, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. No, and part. and a lot of times they want to reinvent the wheel. They mm -hmm. want to change everything you're doing. And they're it, like, if, you, if you're interviewing with somebody, like you're not like hot stuff because yeah. you're you're interviewing. You're yep. not freaking. You're not on the other. You're not interviewing. You're, you're mm -hmm. not the interviewer. You're interviewing. Yeah. So just and listen I, and be coachable. I will give props to my captive experience. Yeah. When they bring you on, you are going to be the best representative of that carrier, right. which I, I did appreciate that because I For went sure. through the university. I went through binding authority. They give you tons and tons and tons of resources yep. to be really good at selling their product. That's right. right? So sometimes, and I, I hate to say it because I've obviously, I'm now independent for three years now and yep. I love it. And I still don't think I would, I would change it right. because I don't think I'd have the processes or the knowledge or just understanding both sides of how this PNC model, like, hey, anybody can sell a policy because you can't keep it, right? Because that's, that's right. where their true money's at. That's right. Um, so I almost, sometimes I'll send people, like, when they're just too green and they're not grasping the independent side and having mm -hmm. all these carriers, or it's just extremely overwhelming to them, I will actually go kind of farm them out and go, dude, just go get, go learn the ropes. And yeah. they will pay you to learn the ropes. And then once you learn the ropes and you have that kind of training, then I'm calling on you. You gotta um, learn it. I'm not gonna do that every time, but I do appreciate my upbringing yep. in that. They did a really good job. Um, but then I was just like, okay, but like, if I have the highest close rate at 35% in the office, like, that means I'm turning away like so much business. I was like, oh. what, if, what if I even have one more carrier or two or three? And then that's kind of obviously what, what led, led to the independent now? world yeah, yeah, to where I'm you know, closing over 90%. So clearly insurance is a good career path. Yes, it's and you're amazing. And kicking butt. Okay, yeah. let's, I want to pivot for a second. Um, you generate a ton of inbound leads from social media, from Facebook, mm -hmm. organically. Organic. Like referrals friggin' galore. Mm -hmm. You are the king. Thank okay, you. I you, appreciate that. You are the king. Thank you. Okay? Um, talk about that. Get your freaking pad. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, I'm gonna give y'all. I'm gonna give y'all just straight tips and tricks. Um, you can also. I have a full recording on my organic social media strategies on ATX Agent Hangout. It's my networking page on the um, Facebook page. On Facebook page, ATX Agent Hangout. Boom. Um, specific for Texas agents. Honestly, Cody is who inspired me to start it. Thanks, bro. Um, because events, there's just power behind events. Oh. I want to. I want people to be in the room. I don't care yep. if it's ten or one. Like I don't. I really don't care as long as I'm impacting at least one that's person. Right. And that's hard to do virtually. So, but live per, events. Pers but. Personally, real quick, real quick. Yeah. Okay, stay tuned. But real quick, how much has you have you personally changed since you started attending events the last oh. really really heavy the last six eight months? Tenfold, man. Okay, tenfold. tenfold. Boom. Okay, back it, to it. Organic. It really is crazy. Um, it's nuts. You, yeah. So, start you to start with. You have to have social media. So yes. this is. I always start with that. Check. And I'm like, especially if you don't like being on it, I don't care. Yeah. Like then you don't like making money. Uh, right. Because you need to be on social media. You really need to. So if, I don't care if you want to do it. Some people do it on Instagram. Some people do it on Facebook, Twitter. Yep. Um, Brandon Thomas, he actually is buying stuff from you. He's a yeah. king on Twitter. I don't do Twitter. Whoa. I'm, I'm Facebook. But he okay. is like he is like the life guy on Twitter, which is awesome. awesome. If you can leverage, even if you're just leveraging one of those platforms. I noticed that it. most people go really deep in one platform. Yes. Because it's hard to be everything mm -hmm. to everyone and be great at all of them. Like Correct. yours is Facebook. Yep. Mine has always been YouTube. Clearly, we're doing it right now. Yep. Um, so let's keep talking about Facebook because so, you're freaking great Yeah, so, at that. so Facebook is my go-to. Um, I don't think I would be able to get onto another platform because my wife would probably kill me. Uh, <laughs> you're already but, on that one yeah, a lot. Yeah, and, and really Facebook, which leads into really how I've been able to generate all of this stuff is groups. Yep. Um, not, the other platforms don't really have groups like Facebook does. Not as well. Um, yep. it, well what about really, LinkedIn groups? Not, not, not yet, really? I've, I'm... Very like just now, kind of tapping into LinkedIn. Okay. I'm using LinkedIn more as recruiting versus actually because those LinkedIn groups can get huge, but mm -hmm. I don't think they're as active as the Facebook groups. Exactly. Um, and I'm I on think, Facebook every day. Yeah, I'm not on LinkedIn every day. Exactly. I, I hop on LinkedIn to check my notifications in the morning, and that's pretty. I'll put some stuff out there, but I don't. Cool. Facebook is where I live. Um, so really, it starts with you gotta have Facebook, right? If you want to be on Facebook, you gotta have one, um, and then creating your audience. So you need to. If you're going to use Facebook as a business tool, which if you're not using it as a business tool, then don't do it. If it's not driving yeah, revenue, there's not points to. I wouldn't use not. it. Other, I wouldn't use it at all. And, and people didn't. are like, dude, how do you have time to do all this? And I was like, because it makes me money. You make time. Yeah. Like you guys will make time for whatever makes you mm -hmm. successful. Whatever, yeah. if it helps your business, 
and yep. you really want to do something, you will find time. That's yep. what I've learned. It's funny because people ask, they say, oh, dude, how do you have all this time to be so, so quick on commenting? And so, and I'm like, because Facebook's like my second CRM. Yeah. Here's my CRM. Here's Facebook. And then like, here's my carrier systems. Yeah. Facebook never comes down and you have to manipulate the algorithm. So when you're building your audience, when you're adding people and you're joining groups, so first kind of define your audience. Who is going to actually make you money, right? So for PNC, um, you know, I'm getting in, uh, one of my groups is new to Austin, 20s and 30s. It's people who are moving to Austin, I can be the relocation expert, right? Um, obviously trucking. So I got in with a trucking group, there's 33,000 members in there. Obviously that's a good group for me if I'm in trucking, that's right? freaking great. Um, real estate investors, so it's another thing. I don't do the like hotels, motels, I have a referral partner for that, but any like apartment complexes, things like that, I can do that all day. Wow. So joining groups that I can leverage. So you found them. what what pieces of your audience you want to niche down in and Correct. who you want to work with. Mm -hmm. And clearly, like trucking and apartment buildings and stuff, it's not a, that's not a renter's policy. It's not. It's not. And I will say, actually, before you go do that, go to your carriers first. Um, a lot of people are saying, I'm, I'm for the client. I'm for the client. No, you're, the client doesn't pay you. The company does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So you need to go to your carrier and say, what do you want? That's good. What what are so you? So do what you, you give certain carriers certain types of business yep. based on what they want? Hundred percent. That's freaking smart. I've never I've never thought about that in the PNC yep. world. So like my, all my auto body shops. So I'm really I and I the reason I do auto body shops is because I'm yep. accelerated through underwriting. I can have same day binding through Nationwide. If they're not with Nationwide, I win every single time. Wow. And if they are with Nationwide, I just do a, an agent of record change, and then I yep. get the commissions at renewal, and I can be their servicing agent. So how many inbound social leads do you think you get a month? Um, I know it's I'd over. Go, I'd have to go check my CRM. I know it's I'm, over a certain number for sure. I just don't know what it is I'm exactly. I'm with but. with my commercial with my with all my trucking and my just referrals from people. Obviously, me posting and engaging yeah. and gaining leads. I like probably 120 a month. I quote I quote probably close to two million dollars in trucking insurance every month. Yeah, close to two million trucking a month. Just you're trucking. quoting. Yeah. Now, granted, that's extremely high. For anybody who knows trucking, which Gosh. I'll, don't start in trucking. Get your feet wet with the personal lines, and then when you're ready for trucking, you can now you and now you guys see. I was like, this is the cat. Yeah. Dang. Okay. So what's some other tips on like leveraging uh, social organically other than groups? Like maybe like one. Leave us with like one small tip on like if it, it, it like okay, you 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 know you have a Facebook, you defined your audience. Yep. You found some groups you want to be in. Mm -hmm. How do you? What's the next step? What's a tip? Add those people in the groups. So the people that are, even okay. like people who are referring you business or you're now going in and you're kind of that insurance person in that group, whatever yep. it is. Um, and actually before we get there, don't solicit right out the gate. So you want to lead with value and education. You would think that's a no brainer. Most people are spamming the crap out <laughs> it's all of groups. Bad. Or they'll just go straight to the DMs without, yeah. I'm like, why should I even talk with you? You haven't even helped me. Exactly. Uh, this is Coach Burton. You know, people do business when problems are solved. That's right. And so you help them solve the problem. Yep. I don't even ask to be their agent. I will literally say, hey, this is what you need. This, 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 and this. That's freaking cool. And then they message me. And so like, so hey. you'll bring value in the group. Correct. Then you will go and, and actually add those individuals that are engaging. Mm -hmm. You probably even go to their actual personal yes, post and start engaging. You're, wh wh why? Because you're helping the relationship. What we, else? We are humans. Yeah. They don't know that unless they're on my page, yeah. which I think a lot of people are like, I don't want those people following me. And it's like, well, then you're not using Facebook as a business tool. Yeah. Then all you want, you just want your friends and your family. And the next thing you know, you're looking at a bunch of pictures of babies or your friend just got married. And then, oh, what do you know? Now you're on YouTube. Yeah, watch yeah, or whatever, yeah. and you're down the rabbit hole. That's right. I want my referral partners seeing what I'm doing with my family. That's strong. I want them to see that I'm human. Just because I sell insurance doesn't mean I'm not. Like, I That's have the good. same bills. I've got the same. I've That's got a good. kid. You know, like, we have all these things that we, they can all relate to if they see it. Yes. So add them. Add them. And that also builds your audience. And then what do you yeah. know? Who do they know? Right. Normally people that are in the same like kind or, you know, similar situation that they are, whether it's the same occupation or same, same income, whatever it is, yes. you know, people who are at income levels normally hang out with either 10 below or above in yep. the same income. That's awesome. So Adam, um, and then I would say really, I'd say that the last bit is you've just got to engage yep. um, consistently. I think a lot of people, that's where they give up on Facebook. Um they will, they'll post something. This is a huge one. They'll post something. Nobody likes it. 
It's like, well, just because they didn't like it doesn't Aww. mean they didn't see it. You just weren't there to solve their problem yet. Yeah. So that's why you have to keep posting. Keep so posting, you know what? Some posting. people they'll get depressed and stop posting. Yes. They will stop because nobody likes it. And I'm like, no, that's, they just don't need you right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the day that every single day, if you're posting that every single day, life changes. Every Does that also day. teach you over time what types of stuff to post based on the engagement yeah. you get? You know now, like, yeah. okay. So I'll, I'll give you guys the jab, jab, hook. Okay, so we call it the, the jab, jab, and then you're you're coming around with the hook. Basically, yeah. that's your business post. So the jab is, and I and always you use You jab a lot more than twice, by the way. I do, too. I do. This is where you need it's to start, good, though, because it can be overwhelming Yeah. to have to post 10 to... That's well, true. I mean, I'm probably, when I, you wrote in my comments, post and everything, I'm probably, it's over 50 a day, that's easily. Awesome. Um, that's huge. So, yeah, but do the two jabs, right? So I call them, you can call them jabs or fluff. Basically, get them, put something out there to where they want to respond, right? We have to view social media like Facebook is for entertainment. Social, me like social media yeah. as a whole is people want to be entertained, okay? They ultimately do. It's good. And when you entertain them, Facebook ranks you higher. I'm not, we don't have time for the algorithm stuff, but I can, yeah, we'll yeah, do yeah. another one on that maybe someday. Um, but just give them like, hey, if you had to remove one, so tacos, brisket, ribs, or, you know, whatever. It's so funny, like... And it only needs to be a one, one little, they could just put, you know, ribs or brisket or tacos. That's it. I don't need anything else. Yeah. They can't resist not what to. What is that? It's so, I don't know. It's a fluff. It's, it's like, it's that engagement post. Somebody man. told me to start with like, just curious dot, dot, dot. Yep. And then do that with like a question. And it, it always works. My mind's in the comments. So then you kick it off and then people are like, oh, there's already a oh, comment. Oh, let me see what Joe likes. Yep. And there's like, oh, okay. So what then I'm going to comment. options again? Like ribs, tacos, um, brisket. Uh, you could yeah. do any of the food items. Like, hey, yeah. remove one. Or if you could, li if you had to live without one, what would it be? <laughs> and people are like, people love that stuff, especially food, man. I don't know what it, it is, is, but it's, it is so funny. And yeah. so they'll they'll post, and then this is a huge part of the organic strategy. Yeah. Because Facebook likes when you keep people on their platform, right? That's, That's right. how I get ranked higher. That's how I hit more timelines. That's yeah. how I get in That's front of exactly more people. That's exactly why we don't post links straight to YouTube on Facebook because they don't want people to leave. They're nope. not going to promote that. They don't. They don't. Yeah. You want you want them. So then when they comment, even if it's just ribs, I will go in and say, if, if I agree, yeah. oh, dude, right on, man. I knew I liked you. Or if I didn't, then I'd be like, are you crazy, dude? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and then they're going to comment again. And then guess what's happening? I'm keeping them on the platform. So Facebook loves me. And, and a lot of people will allow... You'll have like a hundred, even if you have a hundred comments, right? Yeah. And you're like, oh, a hundred comments. If you were to comment on every single one of those comments, you'd have 200 comments. Exactly. So Facebook looks at that and it's like, ooh, organic. Like, man, people are all over this post and whoever's posting it is engaging them, They're keeping them on my platform. Z Zuckerberg's like, Joe Camp yeah, is a like, freak, oh, Dude, bro. put him up here. Relevancy, <laughs> right? He's the most relevant. People must like this dude. Yeah. So I'll do two of those, right? To get people really engaged. And the second one, I'll do maybe more of a sentimental, like, Maybe a picture of my daughter, me hanging out with yep. my family, showing I'm human, right? But then a lot yep. of people are attracted to that. And then you hit them with the business post. That's so cool. that's when you'll get, you, you'll go from like, I remember when I first got married, it was like 700. So I was like, man, where have all y'all been, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then I'll post, but it was kind of bad because I used that because I knew people were on my page because they've been liking all my posts from that uh, weekend. Posted a business post, only got 15 likes or something. And I'm mm. like, dang. But... I know that all of those people that have been liking my page all weekend, they saw it. They that's just right. didn't need me yet. That's right. And that's why you do it on a daily basis that's because right. one day they will need you. Wow. And you're already there. You're in front of them and they've seen so much of your stuff that when they need you, oh, Joe, yeah. dude, I thought I need help with my insurance, man. You are the first person I thought of. They didn't really think of me. I just plugged it into their head because I'm in front of, the of them all the time. first people I think about with insurance all the time, yep. you know. Um, That's because I'm freaking posting dude, everywhere. An animal. Yeah. How to be an insurance animal. Um, and then I'll let me. I'll give just because okay, last is the one. last bit. Um, when you're posting is huge. Yeah. So you need to be posting at what Facebook calls prime time hours. Um, what I found has been the most engagement when people are most willing to respond or engage or comment or like or whatever. Um, you need to be posting anywhere from like seven to eight a.m. Okay. And then also gauge your audience. So if you're audience is all on the East Coast and you're in Central, then you need to be posting earlier to get them before they get too busy into their day. There you go. Okay, so anywhere from 7 to 8 a.m. Um, and then anywhere from 11 to 12. So you're okay. catching people on their lunch breaks when they have their phones out, right? They've got some time in between the day. They're yeah. scrolling through their timelines, right? Um, 
And then really anything from like 4.30, 4.45, don't post too early. Some people will put it out there at 4. Mm. People are still finishing up their work day. Yep. Get them right at like 4.30, 4.45. So you're almost like right before. Right before 5. I love that. And then boom. And then that's your prime time hours. Yep. How, how do they follow you? Because they uh, want to keep following you after You can this. find me, uh, Joe Frazier Camper. So I'm very active on my personal page. Yep. Um, we are Redwood Agency Group for the business page. Um, and then also I've got ATX Agent Hangout, um, which is my networking page. A lot of good uh, value on that. And? And this is, my, this is my baby right now, the Insurance Syndicate. Um, basically, we are trying to disrupt the industry through honesty and transparency of information. Um, so That's the Facebook group. That is the Facebook group. So come join us. Um, if you're trying to join the group, Please <laughs> fill out the like the three questions. All you have to do is hit yes, yes, yes. If yep. you don't, I'm I'm deleting you because that already is telling me that you don't you're not trying to level up. You can't even answer the questions like come on, y'all. You've been deleted, okay? Yes. You're out. All right. Sorry. Try yeah. again. Thank you, bro. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're Thank a beast. You. Follow this man. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. Mm -hmm. Believe you're gonna be at the top. No matter if you are in ops, yep. if you're in sales. If you are the janitor right now, that's right. Be the best janitor you can be. You know, 